cold. Shut up and sit down. Hey boys and girls, welcome back to PJT Forging. Today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to do a stone washed finish on an axe head. Now the axe head in question is this double bit Ludel. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So step number one is going to be grinding the faces on the axe to a nice high polished finish. We're probably going to be aiming for around a 400 grit. And for that we're going to be using the belt sander. Now if you really wanted to, you could do this by hand, but rather you than me. So with the axe head now ground to the grit we want it, I'm going to do a little additional step here which is definitely optional. Unfortunately, due to the fact that it wasn't exactly stamped deeply and during the grinding process we've lost the Liddell stamp, so I'm going to go ahead and reapply that via electrochemical etching. So to the laser printer! <laughs> So with the axe head now all prepped and ready for the actual stone wash, let's actually talk through the next few steps. So despite the fact you've just seen me treating this thing with oil to prevent rust, the first thing we need to do is acetone this down. We're then going to be putting it in a diluted version of ferric chloride, a one-to-one -one mix with water. And we're going to be leaving it in this tub here for around the 10 to 15 minute mark. We're going to check every two minutes to make sure we're getting an even etch and that there's no contaminants left on it because any oils or residual grease or anything that's left on the surface will prevent the acid from coming into contact with the steel and we'll be left with blotches. And then we're going to take it out, neutralise it in bicarbonate of soda and then oil it again. So, let's do all of that. So we're only going to leave this in here for another few seconds and then we're going to take it out and we're going to give it a rubbing over with some 2000 grit sandpaper. That's just to make sure we've got all the contaminants off. Actually, that's really cool. That's the uh, the forge weld between a hardened bit. Let me see if I can bring you in closer there. Look how freaking cool that looks. I'm loving that. So like I say, we're just making sure we're getting rid of any and all contaminants on this thing. And then once we've done that, we're going to leave it in here probably for, oh, I don't know, another 10 minutes or so. Unfortunately, this is where things took an epic turn for the worst. Whilst trying to put the acid back in the containers, a load of it started to spill, and in my attempts to catch it, it decided to shploop up right into my face. The acid went straight up underneath the safety goggles I was wearing and into my right eye. One trip to A&E that night and a referral to the eye clinic the next day, and I was back home looking like a grumpy pirate. Well guys, I won't lie to you. This sucks. You can skip this step if you like. 
the acid also decided to go all over the axe head I'd just finished up. Ah! Meaning that I had to redo this entire step again. But we're not going to let a little thing like a loss of depth of field affect us. So we've got this axe head finished back up to where it was before, and now we're going to start working on the rock tumbler. So for the rock tumbler, I need a piece of tubing that's about 40 centimeters long. Unfortunately, the diameter I needed only came in three meter lengths, and I only need that much. Oh well, we'll find some use for this at some point. But with our piece cut and some crappy woodworking skills, we've now got this thing, which is going to be my rock tumbler. And with the world's finest garden gravel media, we are now going to insert the axe head. Add in a load of oil. We'll put the cap on and we'll start this thing tumbling. Right, I've only been tumbling this thing for a couple of minutes and already you can see some of the designs starting to sort of come through. So we're going to stick it back in and we're just going to check it every two minutes or so until we get to a stage we like. Definitely starting to get there now. I think I'll give it a little bit longer. And that is about where I want it. Loving the look on that. And slap a handle on it and there we go. That's what we're left with. I'm loving the textured finish on there. The stone wash creates this really cool sort of random pattern. But yeah. There we go, one finished up double bit. Pretty 